Hi, and welcome to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart. And who do I think most deserves a drink this week? Well, it's everyone's favorite, Effie Trinket, who's about to say, F it, let's drink it. Elizabeth, thanks, everybody! Oh, holy <laughs> shit, she's actually here! Yeah. I usually just point to a, a photo in the corner, but this is so crazy. <laughs> I'm here because you, you're going to make a drink, right? Yeah, she smelled it from miles yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm ready. We yeah. weren't even originally filming together. But no, I just said, could you make me a drink? She picked up on it. Well, I did a little research, AKA stalking your website, which is very pretty. And I learned that your favorite drink is a Negroni. It's true. Perfect. Well, I took that idea and the fact that I love how you're making such cool shit for women. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's why today we're going to make an Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks She Groni. You know, Elizabeth, I can't tell you how much fun I had watching you in the sequel to Magic Mike, <sighs> which is funny because normally when I put on an XXL, I just cry a lot. Well, you know the perfect cure for sadness, don't you? What? A six pack. I abject. I'm talking about Channing Tatum's abs. Abstained. Well, for this drink, all you're gonna need is... Campari. Sweet vermouth. Gin. And a little orange to garnish. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't help feeling like you and I are supposed to be besties. Because like you were in the movie Sea Biscuit, mm -hmm. and Sea Biscuit is what I call Mahoha. Really? Ugh, why? Well, you know, because it's salty like the sea. Mm -hmm. It's uh it's tasty like a biscuit, and it likes to be around things that are hung like a horse. And unlike Sea Biscuit, your hoo-ha never says nay. Touche, thanks. Okay, this drink is super easy. You're gonna need a shaker full of ice. Yes. And then, basically, it's gonna be one third of each yes. for the drink. Yes, so. one, one, one. That's how I do it at home. Oh, really? I call it a threesome, but that's how I do it at home. <laughs> wow. We're gonna add some gin. I know it's been a long day, so let's not be stingy with it. All right. Then you're We're gonna add- We're making it for two, right? Yes. Yeah, no, so, yeah. right, the Don't gin worry. and then- Oh, would you want one? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Then we're gonna add our third of sweet vermouth. You know, Mamrie, fun fact. What? Vermouth is derived from the Italian word for wormwood, which is ironic because if your wood resembles a worm, it ain't going near vermouth. Or her move, or my move. No moves. I can't say that word. It's because we're drunk. Got it. Lastly, we're going to add our third of Campari. Mm-hmm, Italian Campari. Just FYI. Wow, well, so much. I like to say just FYI every once in a while, if <laughs> I'm a super nerd. We're gonna shake it up. Maybe, maybe give it a little, I like to give it a little like, no. jazziness <laughs> to it. I think it helps with the flavor. Can you go over the head or a oh, little? Yeah. yeah, I juggle. Whoa! Nope, I don't well, juggle. Well, we're gonna have to watch Never that have one. <laughs> That was my first time Look, juggling. You juggle your personal life and your career. I think you juggle a lot, okay? Don't Thank sell yourself you short. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You know, it's interesting that we're standing right here because in my opinion, you really raised the bar oh. for female directors with Pitch Perfect 2. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it was a lot of hard work and the stress, believe me, it did not end when I called cut. Oh, trust me. Uh, I called cut once and it got really stressful too. Oh. I mean, technically, I was at a bris. Um, it didn't go well, and I'm just going to peel. This is nice. This is nice, this right? This is nice. This yeah. looks almost professional. Anyway. Oh, Oops. you nailed it. <laughs> oh, it's are going you to orange? Great. It's going great. We can stick our garnish in. Yes. That looks beautiful. Stick it in. My kind of gal. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, I love the pink color. Oh my god, I just it's started so feminine. It looks so gorgeous in this set that I just built. Here we go. Okay, I'm so excited. And there you have it, an Elizabeth Banks She, she Groni. Cheers. Oh, that'll take the edge off. I love it. That'll take the paint off. Yeah, that's good. Some people would say it tastes like cough syrup, and I disagree. Some people would say it tastes like cough syrup, and I say, there ain't nothing wrong with a little cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> this just takes me to Italy. Whenever I'm drinking it. Oh. Never that, been. Never that's been. That's gonna take me to you. FYI. You're gonna think of me maybe whenever I'm Appreciate it. it. I imagine that one of the greatest thrills as an actress is not just playing a fictional character, mm -hmm. but getting to play someone who's a real person. Have you ever done that before? I have, yes. I, I once played uh, uh, Laura Bush in W. You know what? You can uh, quit bragging for a second because I also played Laura Bush in W. You know, for the sake of honesty, I actually played a woman named Lars Bush, but it was filmed at the W.
Thank you for watching You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart. And remember, the best part about Why Dad is the built in drinking game. So make your delicious Elizabeth Banks Shigaroni. Rewatch this and drink every time I make a terrible Elizabeth Banks pun. Now I'm off to get her liquored up and convince her to put me in Charlie's Angels. Wow. Let's go. What has been your most cringe worthy career moment? Is it right now? <laughs> I believe it's about 20 seconds ago when I pronounced it pho. <laughs> um, I did a show once that was one of those talking head shows, but instead of I Love the 80s, it was I Love the 1880s on like History Channel. 